Hey guys, Hayden here again from Alarm System Store, and today we're going to be talking about a couple of Qualsys and DSC products, and those are the hardwired to wireless translators that I have sitting here next to me. So this one right here is the PG9WLSHW8, and this one here is the PG9HRDW8. Now with part numbers so simple, I'm sure you guys won't need it, but I will leave links down below so that you can check them out on our website. Um, we have the install manuals and the data sheets there so that you guys can check out the specs on it. And basically the main reason for this video is to show the difference between these two items. They are both PowerG hardwired to wireless translators. So they are encrypted, they have the really good PowerG range. Everything that comes with PowerG is included with these modules. And there is actually no um, technical difference between these two items except for the cabinet size. So I'll go ahead and open them up here real quick. Um, inside here, you'll see you basically get a main board and then you get some space down here. Um, and I'll cover that in a second. And then on this one, it's the exact same thing except for this one comes with a large cabinet. So as you can see, the board is literally the exact same in both of them. Um, and I'll zoom in a little bit here in a minute so that I can show you where all the modules are placed inside them. Uh, but essentially, like I said, these are uh, DSC Neo main boards that are converted so that they can be used as a wireless transmitter. So you get basically a block of terminals here. You got your AC input, your bell circuit, core bus. Um, you got auxiliary output terminals for powering devices. Uh, it does come with four PGMs on it. Um, one high current PGM, the rest are low current, and then you get eight zones on this little main board here. Now, with these modules, you are allowed to add up to four wired DSC Neo keypads. And you can use the LCD keypads or the icon keypads. Um, and in the instance where you do use keypads with this, um, they don't come with full functionality. Basically, they are limited to pretty much arming and disarming only. Um, there's a few other small like user functions you can do on them, but personally, all of that's a lot easier to do on the IQ system itself. So I would recommend just doing all your programming with that and just using any hardwired keypads for arming and disarming in different locations. Now, with this small cabinet, um, you get space for a 7 amp battery down here, and then you can get two zone expanders in here on the sides. Now, I do have a zone expander, so I will show you how those fit in in just a moment. But essentially, this model, the PG9WLSHW8, has two zone expander slots and the 7 amp battery slot, and then the PG9HRD W8 has four slots for zone expanders and a seven amp battery. So with this one, um, there's a lot of space in here. Um, there's actually all of this. I don't have any idea what that would even be for. Um, the zone expanders fit in these little rectangular slots that are right here. And I'll show that in a moment as well. Um, the only other thing you can include on these modules is an HSM2300 power supply. Now, you can enroll the power supply to the module and use the additional power, obviously. However, you won't be able to fit that in either one of these cabinets. If for some reason you do have enough keypads and devices on here that you're going to need a power supply, you will need an additional cabinet with that. So, basically, um, all I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in on these and I'm going to show you guys how the zone expanders fit into these slots and um, kind of just show an overview of the terminals, things like that. And then in a future video, I am going to cover um, the actual technical aspect of this. I'm going to hook it up to an IQ panel 4. Um, we're going to program it. We're going to add a keypad, a zone expander, so on and so forth. And so I can show you guys how all that works. But just to give you guys an overview, um, like I said, you can have a total of four DSC Neo keypads connected to this, four DSC Neo zone expanders, the HSM2108, and you can have one HSM2300 power supply module. So let me get zoomed in here and I'll show you guys the terminals on the board and then we'll talk about how the zone expanders fit in here. All right, so here we are zoomed in. Um, this is the small cabinet, the PG9WLSHW8. Um, and like I said, Terminals on the boards are the exact same between both models, so um, everything here is exactly how you will see it on 
the PG9 Hardwire 8 or the PG9 HRD W8. Uh, but essentially, um, as you can see here, you got your AC terminals for power input. Uh, you got a bell circuit right here. You got the red, black, yellow, and green for your core bus. Um, you do get two auxiliary outputs on this. So that is a big difference between this, these modules and the DSC Neo system. Um, I believe the reason that they did that is because you don't really have a whole lot of extra space in here to use like DT600s or any sort of um, wire condensing tool. So they basically just give you extra terminals so that if you have a lot of wires to hook up, you have the space to do so. Um, you do get four PGMs. Like I said, you get three low current and one high current. Um, PGM two is the high current, and that's where you connect like smoke detectors, um, two wire smoke detectors, or four wire smokes, and that is how they get their resettable power. And then moving on, you get eight zones right here. So um, by default, just with the module, you can connect up to eight uh, zones for your system. Now, if we scoot down here, you'll see this is the battery compartment. It basically just fits in there, sits down right there. Um, there is a, a battery connection right here. You'll run that down to the battery itself. And then if you want to add zone expanders, um, they do fit in a little awkward compared to like a standard system. But essentially, these slots right here on the side, you just slide these zone expanders down in and then it just holds it right there. Now what's nice about this is you can still get to your wires right here and on the side there is still space to get to your screws so that you can adjust things as needed as you go. Now, like I said, this one has space for two. So you can get this one in on that side and you can put one in on this side as well. And I'll show you the hardwire eight real quick because this one is a little bit awkward. It took me a minute to figure out where the zone expanders go. But essentially, on this board, you have the same thing up here for the main board. You got the same terminals. It's literally just that put in this cabinet. But for this, on the zone expanders, you get these little rectangular slots right here. And it um, might be kind of hard to tell, but on these zone expanders right here, there are a couple holes. And these prongs that you'll find in each of these rectangles fit into those prongs so that you can't orient the zone expander improperly. So on this one over here, it literally just sits down right like that with the terminals facing inward. And then for this one, it goes upside down so that they, the wires can come directly up so that they're not interfering with the battery at all. And then both of them over here sit like this. So the only one that's like really awkward is this one down here in the corner because it's kind of angled. So. You kind of like slide the zone expander up like that and then match up the prongs so that they pop in and then just push it down. So I believe the reason it's angled is just so that you can get away from the battery with the wiring, uh, which makes sense, but it is kind of awkward when you're looking at it, trying to figure out how to put it in there. The rest of them, you literally, they just sit flat, so you just push them straight down and you're good to go. But. Really, that's all I wanted to show in this video because we have had plenty of questions about what these modules are, what they do, how they work, so on and so forth. So for all intents and purposes, these are just hardwired to wireless translators for the IQ panel. They use PowerG technology, so they get the encryption, they have frequency hopping, lots of anti-jamming tech, and you also get basically a DSC Neo mainboard as your input for your hardwired sensors. So if you're familiar with DSC systems, it's super easy to pick one of these up, wire up your stuff, and just go about your day. Um, the only difficult part is the programming because it is a little bit awkward because you're doing it on a an IQ panel, but that'll be for a future video. Like I said, I'll hook a system up and then we'll get a uh, hardwired translator connected. I'll connect one of each module so that you guys can see how things are enrolled and how they show up on the IQ panel. But once you've seen it once, it's super easy to do. So um, outside of that, there isn't much else to say about these modules. So that's where I'm gonna call it for today. Um, if you guys are on YouTube, give us a like and subscribe if you don't mind. And if you're on our website, hopefully you're finding what you need. Um, other than that, I will catch you guys on the next one.